Good afternoon, I'm uh, Lieutenant Commander Austin West. I'm part of the Meteorology and Oceanography curriculum here at NPS. For his research, Commander West was nominated for and is receiving today the Rear Admiral William S. Parsons Award, established by the Navy League of the United States to recognize extraordinary contributions to scientific and technical progress. This award, presented since 1957, is given to a Department of the Navy officer, enlisted, or civilian who has made an outstanding contribution in any field of science that has furthered the development and progress of the Department of the Navy. The key operational uh, problem that I was trying to tackle with my thesis work was uh, characterizing the atmosphere's impacts on propagation for high energy lasers. So the fleet is starting to see these types of weapon systems arriving aboard ships and they need to understand uh, when and how they can operate and what type of atmospheric conditions will have impacts on their system performance. Lieutenant Commander West's research reflects one of the unique aspects of NPS, that officers bring their operational experience to classrooms and laboratories to collaborate with defense-focused faculty to solve key operational problems with technical solutions. Two critical products result. New capabilities for the fleet, certainly, but even more importantly, naval leaders who are exceptionally well qualified to acquire and employ advanced naval warfare capabilities. Lieutenant Commander West's innovative contributions in support of the test and evaluation of the HELWS performance are widely recognized in the directed energy community and reminiscent of the quality of the pioneering work performed by Admiral Parsons. His operationally relevant research is indispensable for the effective employment of advanced directed energy capabilities. It is definitely difficult, I can imagine, to be a leader of a science and data-driven community uh, and then to take mid-grade officers away from operational tours to study and better themselves. And I hope that this award can just be a data point uh, to support that argument on a return investment, not just to the METOC community, uh, but to the fleet as well. And finally, uh, just a thank you to the sailors and the Marines that stood the watch today and for the last two and a half years so that I could come away from the fleet and better myself. And having just graduated, I am prepared to return and relieve the watch, hopefully armed with something more than just memorized equations and formulas, but a creative and structured critical thinking that allow me to not just tackle the problems that are emerging on the horizon, but those unforeseen ones that are coming tomorrow and the day after that. And when I can't, I know that I have a network of peers and colleagues that I can reach back to uh, to support me in the fleet, and that's all thanks to NPS. I can assure you that your contribution to solving one of the Navy's most important challenges um, will be well remembered. Commander, this is a great award, not only for NPS, but for you. We're so very proud of you, and we wish you continued success in the years to come. And I understand that you're going to go to the USS George Washington next, back to the fleet. Stay in touch, Austin. We're here for you as backup.